Alone Orstein, producer of the popular dating show 90 Day Fiancé, recently sat down to reveal some of the franchise's most highly anticipated secrets. Strategic moves by producers are often speculated on by viewers of the franchise, but it appears fans no longer have to rely on speculation alone. Alone opens up about his role in the history of the franchise as well as plans regarding the future of the show and its various spin-offs. Previously, producers of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise have been scrutinized by fans. Some fans as well as cast members have suggested that the show's producers have resorted to manipulative or otherwise unscrupulous methods in order to deliver a possibly more scandalous or noteworthy storyline than would have been filmed had they not interfered. 90 Day Fiancé cast member Evelyn Viegas has claimed that one unnamed producer was dishonest towards her in order to plan a scene with her and Corey Rathgeber amid a cheating scandal. Fans have also suggested that one of the franchise's most notorious cast members, Big Ed, has been used as a puppet by producers. Despite the criticism, the franchise remains a favorite among many reality TV viewers across the country. Alone told E! News that he has been a producer for 90 Day Fiancé since the very first season going way back. He added that the level of success the show went on to have following its release was unexpected, saying, I don't think any of us anticipated where we would be today. Alone said a typical day for him as a producer is somewhat hectic, explaining that 90 Day Fiancé producers are in charge of casting, viewing edits of the show, getting reports from the field and aspects of pre-production. He added that the producers are also tasked with dealing with issues as they arise, whether it's COVID-related or not. In regards to how many of the franchise's popular spin-offs are created, Alone said that the process is fairly natural. He used 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after? As an example, saying that after appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, the new couple's lives still continued and therefore a continuation of their stories on screen seemed fitting. Alone also discussed the making of the single life, saying that the show tries to be respectful of cast members' boundaries and that cast members must be ready to get back out there. Alone said that Debbie Johnson is a fresh opportunity for 90 Day, the single life, as she was a significant figure in the franchise and she is the oldest to ever be on the 90 Day franchise. Alone hinted that there could be a Colt Johnson and Vanessa Guerra spin-off in production but did not confirm, saying only that there will be some stuff coming down the pipeline, for sure. Alone also hinted that it is unlikely Mark Shoemaker and Nikki will ever return to the franchise. It is clear that 90 Day Fiancé producers have a real method to their madness in the creation of these highly viewed reality series. While there have been complaints and speculation in regards to the ethical nature behind of some of 90 Day Fiancé's most discussed moments, there's no doubt that there is a winning formula involved. The love lives of many individuals are often delicate and problems are bound to arise when thousands of viewers are brought into the mix, and it is not unlikely that the goals of producers do not always align with that of the cast. As far as Alone's role in the 90 Day Fiancé world, he seemed to believe it is important to respect cast members' wishes in regards to what they are and are not willing to do for the show. Whether or not this is truly the case, he is sure to be putting in the work to make sure viewers are entertained for the foreseeable future. Source. E. News.